is up everybody it's your boy DL listen I want to go a little bit over that the um, the rig I use out there in the surf my go-to rig anyway the high-low rig um, I drew up a small little diagram um, I'll go over how I connect kind of my uh, my main line to my uh, my mono to my braid so uh, we'll go over that knot that I use the double uni it's the only knot I use I love it um, and then a little bit over how to how I throw in the dropper loops and stuff like that into the mono leader there before I get started um, Don't forget to like this Subscribe to my channel When we get to a hundred subscribers, I'll be doing a giveaway Don't quite want to tell everybody what's on the table for that, but it'll be a random draw For my subscribers giveaway something cool. I can promise you that so won't dive too much into rod and rail I'm still experimenting there um, but as far as the setup it stays the same on everything I rig up so I usually go with about an eight foot leader so eight foot mono leader um, and then at the bottom I have the um, uh, two ounce disc weight double surgeons uh, uh, loop there so it's an easy change out of, uh, of the weights if the current's a little more stronger or not so about from every point after that is just about anywhere between 18 to 22 inches. Um, I don't pull out a tape measure and measure it. I kind of just eyeball it. So this one could be 18 to here could be 22, could be 21 to there. I mean, it just kind of, you know, really have found one that doesn't work or does work that I can throw tape on and, and really get it precise. But anyways, and then you got your three dropper loops, your number two hooks, and uh, yeah, that's about it. So I want to show you guys how I tie. Just going to use some of this string here that I have laying around just to kind of, for learning purposes, on how I do these, uh, this double uni knot. So the red will be my braid, black will be my mono, okay? So again, main line, mono, okay? So first I'm gonna take equal parts. When I separate these in hand, I usually separate where I've got equal. What I'll do is I'll pinch like that. So you have two, two tag ends, one for each set of line, okay? Two tag ends right here. Pinch. Okay, so I've got my tag in for my mono what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a loop okay so essentially time just holding those together so basically okay. from there all you're doing is you're taking this tag end going around and through okay around just like that okay so again you just want to So you're going around your braid and essentially around your mono as well in a way. Once you've done that, you want to take your tag end. I take them both, so I'll lock, I'll lock that in here. That 
one down. Make sure you grab my tag end. Pull my other two as well. Essentially, all you're tightening though is that just pulling that, just inching that tag end. You'll see that. You'll see that start to kind of tighten up. Now you don't want to pull it completely tight, but somewhat snug. Okay. And then what I like to do now, I go to the other side. So I'll turn my setup so I'm running the same way as I was before. So again, tag into your braid. Here's your mono. Okay, so we're gonna pinch. Okay, we'll pinch. And make that loop. I like to around shoot, six, six or seven times when I'm doing these on the surf. Okay. Only went around three times for demonstration reasons, but. Okay. So I'm gonna, again, lock onto my long line the tag line. I'm just going to start easing that. Easing that knot in there. Snugging everything up, okay? This is called the double uni. Like I said, I usually go six, seven times around. Um, this bigger uh, shoelace stuff is kind of, but it's, it's good for demonstration. So. After this, you're gonna wanna wet all in here, saliva, just so you don't fray or, or cause any friction to that line and weaken it. And then grabbing each, grabbing each of the main line, not the tag lines, not the tag ends, you're gonna pull and that sucker is gonna start to come Right together. And then you just give it a good pull. And that is your double uni or uni to uni, however you say it. After that, I just, I'll snip these off as close as I can get them, these tag ends. And the knot itself slides great through the through the guides. Um, it's a super strong knot, but yeah, works really good. So from there, after I've done that, my mono, mono line. So here's my, to my braid. Okay, main line in the red. I've got my mono usually still hooked to the spool so that I don't leave myself short. But then I'll just tie in three dropper loops. And dropper loops are pretty simple. So dropper loop, you're gonna, basically you're gonna create a loop. I love this weird shoelace material would cooperate, so let's try So create a loop, okay? Pinch it on both sides of the loop, both both pieces of line. Now I use my uh, birdie finger, I guess you'd call that, to kind of keep the, lot, the loop taut. Yeah, okay. And then basically you're just gonna take the top two, and you're just gonna twist. side one side okay you got this loop now 
holding it straight up and down. Oh, it's gonna be harder. I need to see, see in my loop, see the, the line down below there? So you're gonna reach through the loop, and you're gonna grab that line and pull it through. So we're reach through. Essentially, okay, and then you just you'd want to wet you'd want to wet this right here where there's going to be friction. Essentially, sometimes I Dropper loop. So again, we're gonna loop, hold tight with the dirty fingers, okay? And then it's just over. You're just simply twisting those top two. Now grab that in the middle. Right, right where this finger is, that's the loop. And then it just Don't forget to wet in here before you start to slide these. You'll cause uh, that line to really get heated up and warped. Okay, now you can tie these to where your dropper loop is super big. I mean, it could be, it could be clear out to here. That's fine too. That's just allowing the, um, the bait to sit out here and kind of have a little bit more motion. Um, I like them in tight like this, just enough room to um, get the hook on. Anyways, that's, that's the double uni. And uh, the dropper loops. My go-to setup uh, in the surf. Um, I'm going to try to put on some more of these videos, so if you liked it, let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, and let me know how this rig for works for you next time you're out in the surf. So, um, again, uh, see you guys down the road. Your boy DL, Country to Coast Adventures.